This film is about a criminal act, the illegal killing of one of Britain's most threatened birds of prey. Birds of prey, like the golden eagle, have long been symbols of power and freedom. The mighty sea eagle was revered by our earliest ancestors. In the Middle Ages, the peregrine was an emblem of chivalry. The engine that powered the Spitfire was named after the Merlin. And today, the Harrier, the most versatile of fighter aircraft, takes its name from this spectacular bird of prey. Long-winged, a Harrier floats easily, hunting low over the hillsides. The male, pale grey and white, passes food to the larger female, a courtship display. But with the rise of sporting estates in the 19th century, birds of prey were trapped and shot relentlessly, including magnificent birds like the goshawk. By the 1950s, pesticide poisoning, combined with persecution, led to further declines in species such as the peregrine. But then determined action by the RSPB, the government, the public and concerned landowners helped some of these birds to recover, saving them just in time. The osprey returned, the red kite and the sea eagle have been reintroduced. But the hen harrier, a bird of the upland moors, continues to suffer relentless illegal persecution. As hen harriers pass food, it strengthens the bond between them. It's a sign that they found a regular food supply. That usually means good numbers of voles and meadow pipits on grassy areas. But hen harriers do take red grouse as the season progresses. Hen harriers were once a common sight on upland moorlands in England, Scotland and Wales. But numbers have fluctuated in line with levels of persecution. Today, there are around 800 pairs in Britain. In England, only a dozen or so pairs remain, yet there's sufficient suitable habitat to support more than 200. Heather moorlands are of great conservation importance for a range of birds. They're almost unique to Britain, and conservation bodies are keen to ensure they're kept in good condition. Historically, management for grouse has helped to protect heather moorland from intensive sheep grazing and forestry. Many thousands of hours have been spent studying the relationship between hen harriers and grouse. It's recognised that hen harriers can have an impact on the surplus of red grouse available for shooting. But studies show that habitat loss is the underlying cause of the long-term decline in grouse numbers. Concern about the impact of harriers on grouse has led some moorland managers to resort to illegal killing. RSPB field staff have filmed several incidents. In April 2000, a man was filmed attempting to shoot a hen harrier right next to the RSPB's Geltsdale Reserve in northern England. The bird survived, but a few days later, at the same place, shots were heard and a man was witnessed picking up a dead hen harrier and concealing the body. It was later recovered. Just a few days later, in southwest Scotland, a male harrier was found caught in a lake hole trap set on its nest. In that same breeding season, again in Scotland, two RSPB field workers monitoring hen harriers at the nest witnessed the local gamekeeper approach the area and shoot first one and later a second newly fledged harrier. He removed the body, but when this evidence was played in court, he received a £2,000 fine. Crimes like this account for the death of at least 75 female hen harriers each year. These losses deprive us and future generations of one of nature's wildlife spectacles. Killing these birds carries a fine of up to £5,000 or six months imprisonment. The challenge for grouse moor managers is to show that game management objectives can be achieved without breaking the law. The future lies in addressing the underlying causes of grouse declines. In the short term, 
Diversionary feeding of hen harriers offers a simple and effective means of reducing the predation of grouse. It will be a tragedy if ongoing widespread killing makes the magnificent flight of the hen harrier a thing of the past. There should be many more harriers breeding in our uplands than there are. Evidence shows that about three quarters of convicted crimes of persecution against birds of prey are committed by people employed in the game bird industry. Most people deplore illegal activity that deprives us of the chance to see one of the UK's most spectacular birds. We need your help. If you have information concerning illegal killing of hen harriers or any other protected birds, please contact the RSPB or contact your local police. For more information and to add your voice, visit rspb.org.uk forward slash birds of prey. To report a bird crime online, go to rspb.org.uk forward slash bird crime report.